John was a very humble, caring, very helpful person. Um, my personal experience, um, in a short period of time we were reunited. We were actually elementary sweethearts and then we went our separate ways for 30 years and reunited. Um, in the 17 months we were back together, I dealt with a rare type of cancer. We beat that. We got married. Five months later, I went in for a pacemaker and lead extraction because I've had a pacemaker since I was 30. And John had always put me first. Even in elementary, he put me first. I mean, it, just, it was just a natural thing. But um, the surgery went bad. They went to take the lead off the right atrium and the right atrium of my heart ripped open. So I coded and wasn't supposed to live. Um, and then it put me on the machines. The third day they actually went to him and told him that I need to be kind of prepared. Everything was in God's hands. And he told them point blank in front of Preacher Clark, my mother and my daughter, that he won't give it up. And he begged God that day in front of all of these people to allow him to get me well enough and to keep me here and he could take him in his place. And 11 months later, John was gone. So even with his friends, um, if he was at the fire station, it didn't matter. Um, all the guys would tell me, he'd pull up and he'd see him working on their cars or cleaning. He'd jump right in, didn't even ask. He'd just do it. He would just jump right into it. Um, he also served as a police officer in Kinley for a period of time too. Um, but his passion was always a firefighter. So I can't say enough as far as the type of person he was. Um, even if he felt bad. I can remember several times when I'd come home from the hospital. And if you know anything about um, having your chest cut open, it's kind of rough. But I can definitely remember times that he would come home after work and he had somebody hired to stay with me during the day while I was at home. And he'd come home and he'd completely do for me still and would never complain, never say a word. And then once everything was settled, he would go to sleep. So. I can't say enough good things about him. There's nothing negative I can say. Um, he was just, the community loved him. Um, I didn't realize myself just how much until this happened. It was amazing. I think um, Chief Paul Whitehurst actually said that there was 40, 42 or 43 trucks, different fire trucks from all over that had came into his funeral. Um, and I actually started a scholarship up in his name in Johnston County for seniors. And when I done that, actually the Board of Education actually also started up offering early classes to seniors for firefighters and stuff like that. So there's been a lot of good things that's come out of this also. We all played a co church league softball team because we were all big in church, still is. But John was a true believer in God. His biggest quote always was let go let God you know let go of your problems and put it in God's hands so that kind of carried with us um, but he um, we started that up and then when John passed away the community which is the town down from us which is Selma North Carolina I actually ended up asking about putting the sportsmanship award in memory of him also so we have that now I I don't know what else to even say. You know, we went through a lot together in a short period of time. And even with my faith, I think anytime something like this happens unexpectedly, you question things. But at the end of the day, you know, you got to keep that faith and you got to believe. And there's been good things. I mean, I still carry his name every year. My first year giving out scholarships last year, we thought we were only going to give out one. We actually gave out two. So we were tickled over that, me and the chief. When me and John reunited, actually, I did not realize just that true saying to brotherhood. I truly learned real quick what that meant. Um, if any community or any type of groups, I would say that's about one of the strongest ones I've ever seen. Yeah, and I've been in the medical field my whole entire life. I've been a nurse for years. But when John passed, it was like Kenley Fire Department just took me immediately right in, just like I was part of it. 
and they still do to this day. Um, they continuously periodically ask if I need anything. Um, I can go to the fire department anytime I'm welcome. I mean, they've got memory stuff all in their fire department dealing with John. To me, it is a true grown brotherhood. There's no other way of putting it. Everybody's always got each other's back. And uh, the warmth and the caring and the support, you get all of that and plus more. So it's, it's truly like a blessing to you because it's like I adopted a whole new family, if that makes any sense. Um, actually, I stay in touch, me and the chief, Paul Whitehurst, we actually stay in touch with each other quite a bit. Um, I've got to know his wife. You know, it's a really good community. Um, I, I can't say enough. Even the events I've had to go to, um, the one for the state in Raleigh and May, and even though I've not been here, I mean, everybody's been very supportive, very helpful, you know. It's overwhelming, but it's a good overwhelming, if that makes any sense. It's been an adventure, and it still is. I mean, I enjoy it, I help, I love being a part of it. Um, Kenley Fire Department, every year they do their Christmas party, and that's when they give out their awards and stuff like that. So in memory of John, um, I buy the Fireman Bibles and get that out every year at their Christmas parties now. So, I mean, I do a lot for the community um, just to give back because they have helped me so much. If there was one thing that I would want everybody to know about John to remember him by, it would have to be he was a very selfless person um, and he would do anything in the world for you. If he could do it and it was possible, he would do it. It didn't matter if it was a stranger. I've been with him times as we were going down the highway. Person would be burnt down the side of the road, total stranger, and might be an older lady or older man. He'd pull right over and help him. That's the most important thing I would say about him.